Good morning. No, it's not morning, Susan. Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to Butler Family Farm. This is Susan, and it is a gorgeous day after the storm. Um, we're not supposed to have anything more for another four or five days, and as you can see out there by the water tub tank, that the water is dissipating into the ground which means it's making it very soggy however it is getting better and that's what we want i don't think i'll go out to the creek this afternoon i might wait till tomorrow and give it some more time to uh, get down low enough to where i can drive across it's not going to be ready to walk across for quite a few days i wanted to um share with you my little chicken project. I have, as you know, I buy chickens that are, oh, they're about nine months, maybe a year old. Hey, Gertrude's, and there's Freddie. And I got 12 last fall that were really in rough condition. And these ladies have really feathered out Egg production is up. I've got 20 hens out here. Today I've already collected 16 eggs, so I'm very happy I'm able to meet my supply demand. However, when I put food out, and I've got some uh, leftover breads, and it just gives them a, my bread project didn't pass, it failed. So I busted it all up, brought it out here to these guys this morning. Plus, I threw out their chicken scratch and whatever. But there's one poor soul who is not doing very well. And somehow she became low man on the totem pole. So yesterday, Jerry and I were talking and I put some food and some grain out for her uh, and fed her on the back porch um, right over there. Sorry, this is all bumpy because I'm outside. Right over there. But she has a hurt foot. She's walking with a limp. And we talked about this yesterday, and I just decided to do it. So I've collected her, and I have a kennel out here that's not being used when it's nice enough and dry enough for the dogs. So I brought my little picked-on hen over here to this... Uh, dog kennel that's not being used right now. We've got the dogs paired up. And it, you can see how she looks a um, little, little rough. And this is usually what they look like when I buy them from uh, K&D cattle. Um, but sh they were rougher before and she's just low man on the totem pole. They come out, she go out to feed them even when I spread scratch out and the hens pick on her and chase her away from the food and if it's not uh, a hen doing it then it's um, Freddie. but anyway she's got a little bit of a limp and I thought if she was in a smaller area then um, she could heal up um, the door needs to be redone but we haven't had to put a dog out here. We've been able to pair them up so that they aren't lonely. Get back, Goldie Girl. And so this here, this here is not stretched across. So I just found a piece of uh, um, siding, roofing siding, I think it is, and uh, just stretched it across. I don't think she can get out. And I'm not trying to keep her in here permanently. Um, I just want to give her a chance to get her leg healed up and um, just be able to eat because when I picked her up to bring her out here, look honey, I brought you some scraps, taco salad. Um, she, um, she's pretty thin and this way she also doesn't have to um, uh, go very far, stretch herself out, go very far to get food and water. She just says it's right here. As you can see, she's pretty thirsty. But she'll walk by the food out there 
and um, either another hand will peck her off, which you can see the top of her head has been pecked pretty, pretty good. If I looked like that, I'd have brain damage. But anyway, and she's just not able to, um, she's just not strong enough to fight back. And if a hen, one of the other hens doesn't uh, put her in her place, or so they think, you know, in, in the here, in the rankings, um, then Freddie goes after her. And they just, you know, and so she doesn't get to eat the scraps. She doesn't get to um, have the scratch in the food. Um, and, it's, and she has to go out farther to, uh, uh, to uh, survive or to, you know, to find bugs and stuff like that. Because if she found one, she'd probably get all excited by it and make a noise. And then, then the others would be there right um, at her trying to take over. So she's got food and water. And I put um, this dog crate in there that's not being used. I put a bunch of um, leaves and some dirt. So she does have a you know a, a house part to go into. I don't know if I want to disrupt her routine. And so I'll talk to Jerry. Maybe I'll put her back outside in out here in the yard at about four o'clock, which means that she'd be able to go in the coop, which is her routine is to sleep in the coop and then just go out and get her and bring her to um, chicken daycare. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and come back to see us. Thank you, thank you.